People are picky about who they give their phone number to. 95% of consumers are only subscribed to text marketing for seven brands or less. But when it comes to your business, growing your SMS list is crucial for driving conversions. So how do you become one of those seven brands? In this video, we'll uncover the three best practices for growing your SMS list so you can grow your revenue. Best practice number one, collect email and SMS consent from new site visitors with a multi-step form. Encourage brand new site visitors to subscribe to both of your channels with a form that first asks for email consent, followed by SMS consent. This strategy encourages subscriptions for both marketing channels, positions SMS as a higher value channel, and reinforces that providing SMS consent is entirely optional. Include a layered sign-up incentive to entice site visitors to subscribe to both channels. For example, email consent unlocks 10% off, but email and SMS consent unlocks 15% off. The easier it is for people to subscribe, the easier it is to grow your SMS list. With that being said, create an easy sign-up experience by enabling smart opt-in on your SMS sign-up form. This allows people to subscribe easily by entering a six-digit authentication code to confirm their subscription. Best practice number two, encourage existing email subscribers to sign up for SMS with a targeted single-step form. Aside from brand new visitors, you likely have many email subscribers who haven't yet subscribed to SMS. Create a single-step sign-up form that asks exclusively for SMS consent and target the form to only show to existing email subscribers. Show subscribers the immediate value of joining your SMS list with an incentive such as 10% off their next order or access to exclusive SMS-only promotions. Also consider using a teaser and enabling smart opt-in on your SMS sign-up form to simplify the subscription process. Best practice number three, enable consent at checkout to gain more subscribers. If someone is going through the checkout process on your site, they're excited about your brand. Why not ask them now if they'd like to subscribe to SMS marketing? For most of our e-commerce integrations, you can enable consent at checkout on your website. This option is a less intrusive way to ask shoppers to provide consent and a convenient reminder of the incentives they could be missing out on. To stay compliant, make sure the default for this checkbox is unchecked so that SMS consent remains entirely optional. Whenever you collect SMS consent, you have to include your SMS disclosure language. This will make sure that you clearly communicate what subscribers are signing up for so you can stay in compliance with carrier regulations. And that's it. Now you have the information you need to grow your SMS list to continue to grow your revenue. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more of our marketing best practices. In the meantime, looking for more strategies or how to's? Check out the description below for links to more SMS trainings designed to help you learn effective ways to acquire, retain, and engage your growing list of SMS subscribers.